On January 9th, the Northwestern women's basketball program received word of the death of sophomore guard Jordan Hankins. Just, just devastated by what happened this week, and uh, you know, I love Jordan Hankins, and she was my kid, and you know, I love the relationship that we had, and uh, I, I, for her family, you know, we just, uh, we just really keep praying uh, and and try to help each other through. You know, the difficult times. Honoring her friend and teammate by wearing her number five jersey and taking the floor as starter for the first time this season was Amber Jamison. Good afternoon and welcome to Welsh Ryan Arena, where today the Northwestern Wildcats will take on the Indiana Hoosiers. Wildcats will play today with heavy hearts following the passing of sophomore guard Jordan Hankins this past week. Coffee inside the paint. Jamison right wing three. It goes! Amber Jamison on the wing. Cats by five. Sky pass to Coffee. Catch! Yes! Deary inside the three point line. 20 footer. Step back! Yes! Ashley Deary went between the legs, got bust on her back, put and shot over her. Up pass down low to Douglas with eight to work on Cahill, fading away. It goes for Lauren Douglas. Well, Shrine Arena really liked that play. The stands are loud right now. Three for Deary as she dribbles with two. With one, Deary will have to put it up. Yes! Inside the three-point line with 12 to shoot. With the block by Coffey! On the red side, she tried an 18 footer. Mia Coffey said no. As they will get a rousing applause and a standing ovation at the end of this one for Northwestern and well deserved after the result of this game. Really good to see everyone who came out. Um, it's been a hard week for our team and for the Northwestern family. Um, and we were all here for her today. Uh, that's all this game was about. Um, we, as a team, we decided that she would want to play. Uh, she loved this game. And we just went out there and played for her. Just knowing that how much Jay loved basketball and being on the court and having fun together, it's kind of a tribute to her. And I think in that sense, thinking about it that way has helped us get back on the court again and play. Off to their best start since the 1989-1990 season and winning three out of their last four games, the Wildcats matched up with the Penn State Nittany Lions, donning pink uniforms for this year's Play for K game. It is February 5th. You're in great position to have not just an incredible day, but an incredible year, okay? And you've put yourself in that spot. You guys have all done a great job. I want you to be loose, have fun, play with a chip on your shoulder. You gotta understand, the harder you play, the more fun this game is. The harder you play for your teammates, the harder it is to beat you. Deary trying to go into the paint. She lays it up and lays it in. Northwestern first to score this afternoon. As Deary pokes it away, her second steal of the afternoon. Drives in, dishes to Jamison, whose layup is good. Instant offense from Ashley Deary. Western back on top, six to five. Coffee, nice footwork, puts it up and puts it in. Eight for Coffee early on. They can't stop you. If you just keep pushing the ball ahead, keep running, let it go early, it makes the defense spread. Coffee fakes the pass, drives in, no help, defense comes, and Coffee on fire early on, already 10 points for her. Penn State would strike back in the second quarter to take a six point lead. The Cats would respond. 
Deary spots up from three, and Deary is true. Ashley Deary. Brody on the right wing, a three ball from Brody is true, and we're tied at 24. Great play there by the Wildcats, and it all is spearheaded by the nation's leading thief, Ashley Deary. The late layup from Ashley Deary cuts a three-point lead to just a one-point lead. You guys are doing a lot of good things. Keep playing as hard as you are, but clean up a little bit of the little stuff. They got non-offensive rebounds. I think we can take a couple of those away. All right, those, knock down your free throws. We're in really good shape, really good shape. Coffee with a nice move, puts it in. 15 for Coffee. Deary back the other way to Jamison. She drives in, left-handed scoop shot is good. What a move from Amber Jamison. A 4-0 midi run, Cats back on top. A subtle piece of that play there from Coffee was the ability to change directions while pretty much going at full speed. Travasio Green, a no hesitation. Three is good. Don't look now, it's the largest lead of the ball game for Penn State. It's a double-digit deficit now for Northwestern, and things now slipping away from the Wildcats. Nia Coffey's 28 points and 17 rebounds wouldn't be enough for the Wildcats, falling to the Nittany Lions by a final score of 74 to 58. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get mad now. Okay, we've had every emotion you can think of. Now I want you to get mad. Okay, you're a great team. Okay, you got to go on the road now. You're going to play three games. Okay, we're all going to have to dig. And you're going to have to show some heart, some resilience, some patience. <coughs> And you're going to have to find ways to be great teammates. Not good, great, great. A night off for the Wildcats provides a rare opportunity for Nia Coffey. The chance to see her younger brother Amir, a freshman on Minnesota's men's team, for the first time in nearly a year. He doesn't stay in touch. Like, he... I do stay in touch. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. I'll, like, call him, FaceTime him. And, and I like, answer. I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job lately. Well, his standards are pretty low. So. Hard to impress her. Wanting to impress her family is why Nia started playing basketball in the first place. After years of watching Amir and older sister Sydney learn the game from their dad. I like felt left out. So I was like, oh, you know, if I play basketball, I'll be with him more. And then, like, we would play, but there's a point where we had to stop because we would just fight too much. I mean, I guess we were just around each other more. Um, and it became more competitive because we were doing the same thing. Right, right. Um, but, yeah, we, we got to bond more because we were in the gym all the time with each other. That's one of the things that really pushed us to where we are today, um, you know, because we always pushed each other. And, um, you know, having them you know, working out with me really, uh, you know, made me go harder than rather being being by myself. Who was the best player in the game? Definitely me. I don't, I disagree. <laughs> of course you could. <laughs> I, I disagree. I don't know. That's not true, but okay. With the Gophers in Evanston to face the Wildcat men, Nia will get to watch her brother play a Big Ten game for the first time. We didn't get to watch each other in high school because we had the exact same schedule. You know, she played on a Wednesday, I would play on a Wednesday, so we just never got to watch each other unless it was a state. And, um, you know, she hasn't, she hasn't been at one of my college games because she's so busy. So this is the first time she's be able to watch me in a while now. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited. Seeing him on a different stage with like a different level of just like intensity and stuff, I want to see him how like he reacts and how he plays and like what decisions he's making, like how is he handling himself. Just, just seeing that in person is very different than TV. So I'm very excited to be there. It didn't really hit me until I saw him in his jersey and then I realized like, whoa, we're both in a Big Ten, like that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, and just the fact that just we're, we're both doing well, like, I don't know, it just, it's cool. You don't really see that too often, so I love it. Welcome inside Williams Arena, Northwestern women's basketball set to take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers, Northwestern playing the second of a three-game road trip. This is the game that was rescheduled after the tragic passing of Jordan Hankins. With her brother Amir in the crowd, Nia Coffey and the Wildcats look to break a two-game losing streak at Minnesota.
Coffey on the left wing for Northwestern. Abby Scheid has checked in for Northwestern. And one, Abby Scheid on the block, working on Whitney Tinjum. The Minnesota native from nearby Elk Rivers got a loud contingent behind the Northwestern bench. Jamison on the right wing against the zone. Finds Scheid in the open spot. Now Deary, pump fakes, takes a three. Yes! Ashley Deary for three. Midway through the first half, a run by the Golden Gophers forced the Wildcats to play catch up. Kristen Inman on the left wing. Now to Jamison to Coffee in the left short corner. Coffee working on Tindrup, steps through, goes up off Edwards, and one, Nia Coffee. Jesse Edwards in poor position there. Coffee created the contact. She's got a chance to make this a three point game. Here comes Minnesota again. Bell gets a screen, steps inside. Long two from her is good. It's a 7-0 run from Minnesota. Minnesota's going to head to halftime with a 34-22 lead. And now the Wildcats have to dig themselves out of a hole. I think they can do it, but that's not the way you want to close a half. We're going to start making shots, I promise, but we're getting great looks on everything that we run. Keep executing your offense. I'm telling you, you guys look great. Deary into the front court between the circles, right side for Amber Jameson. Now to Ashley Deary. Dia Coffey tying her shoe on the left block, now catches the ball on the wing, steps back for a jumper, and hits! 34 26 the score. Deary inside, hesitation, scoop, layup, yes! Ashley Deary! It's an 8 0 run for Northwestern. Coffey would score 14 points in the third quarter alone, helping the Cats storm back and take the lead. She is putting the team on her back tonight with 30 points. Hedstrom got a hand on the rebound. Inman collects for Northwestern, lobs it to Ashley Deary, who will push. Two on four situation. Deary, coast to coast layup. Off glass it goes. Northwestern leads 41-39. Stop me if you would have thought that this could have happened after halftime. Wagner through an elevator screen. Jamison follows her through it. Wagner, step back three, left wing, gets it to go. And Minnesota is going to be victorious, 71 to 61. That comeback from Northwestern epitomized what they could be on the basketball court. In the fourth quarter, they ran out of gas because they already put in so much work to come out of that hole. So in the third quarter, you played your butt off. You played, you played with some fire. Grassley can make great decisions. You got a chance to win the game in the fourth quarter on the road. You work like hell to come back. Okay, we should be proud of that. Okay, so the effort, the energy was there. Now we gotta be smart on Thursday night. Okay, we gotta be really smart now. Right here, beat Iowa, one, two, three. Beat Iowa! With four games left in the regular season, the Wildcats record sits at 17 and eight and all of the team's goals are still within reach. This lane is 400. Our practice jerseys would be best washed in this temperature of water. <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 do you want a specific temperature or like hot? You got three temperatures, cold, warm, and hot on your washing machine, unless you got a new one.